No. What happens when I change the thing? It'll be... Well, I didn't want that up, remember? Let's see all our file fucking names and shit. So, this is up now. Do you want, you want okay. the BRB on there? I mean, we're, we're here, we're talking. We're live, we're gonna... Oh, well, you're gonna play for a little bit while I go do other things. Oh, BRB in case I got a BRB. Okay. Because well, I can't see those tabs from here. Okay. Remember I fucking blinded myself in the impregnation of 23? Well, I'll just look for a fucking game. Okay. I'll try to talk to myself for a while. And I'll get a game that allows for some sort of speaking. Uh, you sure the music's coming from here? Um, yeah. Okay. I gotta go to the queue. Blech. Sony. If you hit S, that's the search. It'll just go down. Oh, okay. Do you have a su uh, suggestion in... Well, I should play Alone in the Dark. Amazing Virtual Sea Monkeys. Oh, man. Uh, I would not say Ape Escape again. Fuck that. Nope. Aquanauts Holiday. You got a lot of weird things to choose from. <laughs> I wish I could just... There was like a random wasn't generator. One, wasn't there one with an L? Loomies or something? Loomies? Yeah, I thought you were like, oh, that's a game that I wanted to play. The one that I was playing yesterday? Or no. tried to for a second? No. You said it was like a lady version of uh, Rabba Rabba or some shit? Unjammer Lammy. Yeah. Unjammer Lammy. That's all the way down. I'm going to try Barbie first. Oh. I'm going to F12, right? <laughs> I can play Barbie on the what is the counterculture. Uh... That's funny. Why? Because Barbie has for a long time been a part of the culture. I am the fucking counterculture. What isn't? What isn't part of the fucking culture? Counterculture is part of the fucking culture. It's just everything is the same now. I'm trying to wrap my head around... Press start to check out the games. Don't tell me what city. to do, you bitch. Uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around how there's a how it was liberating to fucking females to say Press start to check out Give the me a job the, the same as a dude has. And also I want to get naked on television. Oh that that Denmark lady. Yeah. Or really, I mean, how much different was Ready to her? Visit all the fun places around town. Press start to play. Or was she? Maybe she saw some pattern that sex made these people uncomfortable. And yeah, I guess just to kind of poke and, and prod. But I mean, nudity Press was fucking everywhere. There's paintings about fucking titties everywhere. So it's really just. Maybe it's more. Like the uh, we're countering First, that uh, the world post World War Two world or some shit. Maybe it comes from Press more start personal. To check out the games we can play in the city. She feels it's felt that But it's way. not just her. That was like fucking everywhere, including America. Yeah, it's like someone saw a pattern. Like sex makes men uncomfortable, so they start talking about sex. Sex doesn't make men Press uncomfortable. To check out the games sex. we can play in the city. Okay. Well, it's not like she was diddling herself. No, but I should be able to talk about my naked body in the way that I want to, not in the way you want to. Ready to visit all the fun yeah, around but I feel like it, all of it was just falling into the same trap anyway. It had to be done. We're off to the city. 
But now it's stupid. It's like, okay, whatever happened in the past happened. How many players? What are we doing now? One got... player. One player. One player. Two players. Two players. Two players. One player. One player. One player. Two players. Two players. Two players. One player. Two players. One player. Two players. One player. 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 One Choose a friend. Ken. I want to be Teresa, Christy, Barbie, Ken. I'll Barbie. Press the Wait, button. who's driving? Is this Europe? I. That would be on that side. So Ken. who's my friend? Ken will be my friend. Teresa, Christy. Not fucking Teresa. Teresa. Not fucking Barbie. Christy. Ken. <laughs> Who are you here with? Barbie. Hell yeah, I'm Barbie. It's counterculture, even if it was right when Barbie came out or any period in between then and now, to be like a fat idiot playing with Barbies. But every every little every little movement away from Exacto is fucking counter to Or Ooh, DJ Booth. Should we get some ice cream? Groove and move. Bubble machine. That's a good first date. <laughs> Let's go to the bubble. The machine. beauty salon needs help with their bubble machine. The fuck is a beauty salon doing Choose with a bubble difficulty. machine? I want to go hard, hard this whole time. Oh, Ooh. hard Barbie. See you wife. Yeah, make good food. I'm hungry. Thanks. The beauty salon is filling with You're bubbles. Hungry. Aim the bubble machine to launch bubbles things? into groups of three or more to pop them. <clears throat> Catch stars. You better. And I'll go pull points. pot on your ass. Whoa, whoa. Ready? Aim. Pop. Hot pot. Pull pot. Oh. Wow. Not even any music, huh? Thanks, Barbie. <clears throat> Don't do that to me. Ugh. I'm already losing. Can you believe that, Socrates? Yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Ken. Thank you for affirming me. Affirming and confirming. Funny how those words are so similar. Uh oh, running out of room. Running? I've been done run out of room. I'm so screwed. Uh, no! If you only had given me a chance. Fine. I'll do it myself. Suicide is painless. Am I right, Marilyn? Nice one. I win. Cool. I so bet I win every score. time. Enter your initials and press the X button when you're finished. No problem. I'm... I've never been so sure of anything in my fucking life. That was fun. Play again? Nope. Where do you want to visit? Hmm. To the ice cream parlor to dish up four scoops of fun. Don't tell me how many ice creams I'm going to get. Medium, easy, easy, medium, hard, 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 hard. I am so, I am so, I am so. Hard, 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 press the X button to. Choose a flavor. Hmm. Get a little bit of chocolate. chocolate. Let's make ice cream sodas. Stack four scoops what do you of the mean? same flavor in a row. I want either up, down, four left, right, scoops. or diagonally. Ready to start scooping? Your turn, Ken. 
Excuse me. I thought I was Barbie. What? I'm not the one driving. Okay, so I'm Ken, I guess. What are we doing? They're making me be Ken, not Barbie. I feel like this is a civil rights issue. It is fucked up. I thought he was like, who do I want to be? And yeah. No, who's your passenger? Ken, who are you? Barbie. Good try. Nope. That was fun. Yeah, fix that shit. Eventually. Maybe I'll fix it by cutting my frickin' tits off. Choose a flavor. Ken, you'll get boobs. Barbie's a whop. Strawberry. Whop. Ready to start Ugh. scooping? Like Your turn. Boobs Ken. off. You know, like Nick Cage. Instead <laughs> of face off. off. doing it. Oh. Great job. No. Oh, my mouth is crying for something right now, husband. Choose a flavor. And not freaking penis if that's what you were wondering. Strawberry. Ready to start <clears throat> Your turn, Ken. I was born fucking ready, idiot. That's what you're talking about? Not necessarily. Craving something. Or something to eat? No. I mean, it, it's all possibility. I'll be okay with that for now. Last of it. I'm um, serious. Okay. Not even assuming. You know what they say about assuming? Makes you You're look like a head. fucking idiot. <laughs> Ooh, you fucking suck at this, Barbie. Oh shit, I suck at this too. God damn it! I'm itching for that fucking meat bowl. Good try. Wanna play again? <sighs> Fuck no. Uh. <clears throat> kind of pretty. I like the colors. Where do you want to visit? Off to the music store DJ. Looks better than fucking that. Call of Duty. Choose Call of Duty more like, am I right, Maybe fellas? Hard. Everything is all mixed up. Help the DJ match oh, CDs no. back into their cases and watch out for surprises. Pick a CD and start matching. Your turn, Ken. Trying it. Doing some Barbie, chilling out, and then hopefully doing something else because I don't know how much I or anybody can take of this. Jinx. But hello there, how are you? Yes. All right, an automatic match. Yes. 
Yes. If you got a request, I, uh, I would oblige. Got plenty of these PlayStation 1 games. All legally acquired, of course. Whoops. Ah, oh, blah, blah. What made me choose Barbie? I saw it. And I just, it, it almost, you know, like when your brain calls out and goes, what about your this? I, uh, nobody will ever claim that I'm good at making decisions, that's for sure. Yes. Yes. Oh, I should have been paying attention. It would have been worthwhile. You're too good at this, Barbie. But I bet you would do a lot better if you were naked. Cool. Am I right? All Barbies should be naked. Almost. And in the kitchen. If only people would speak to me like <laughs> my strange uh choices do. Oops, these don't match. Oops. I farted. Dang. Almost. Not paying attention. It might be time to <laughs> change course. This was here somewhere, right? Maybe here? Nope. Almost. Flower. Flower on the... Oh. Mix. Mix them, DJ. Now you'll never win. Mm-hmm. Again, no complaints about what? I could give you something to complain about, I'm sure. Not intentionally, even. Mix. Dang. I keep doing the same damn Mix. thing. I'm going to get diagnosed one of these days. I won't have a choice. I did it. Oh yeah. Barbie. That's why you have friends in wheelchairs and I have no friends. Bam. Almost. So how are you today? I think you were here yes. with us at some point, right? Somewhere. I remember seeing the name Shut Up. I don't know if like I made some brass comment somewhere and now you're oh, here yeah. or <laughs> or we were talking before. We almost had it. That was fun. Play again. Now, nah, let's try another one. I like that Where font. Where do you want to visit? Hmm. We're off to the arcade and the Daisy Derby races. Choose difficulty. On Twitch. Medium hard. Medium easy. Easy. Medium hard. Is there something that sh striked your interest on YouTube Choose a horse or to race with. you ended up like watching one person who watched uh, my video 
about how we should get our shit together? Purple. Guess the secret word at the Daisy Derby. With each letter you guess correctly, your horse moves closer to the finish line. Mm. The race is on. Is it a four letter word? Nope. It's a whole big one. L. Try again. R S T L N E. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Try again. I'm gonna have to oh in the mood for what speaks to you normally that tells you what you're in the mood for I wonder is it that random voice like me S S e This has got to be Barbie related. Sun, not sin. Making progress. Sunshine. That is very Barbie like. Making progress. Cool. I feel so you rewarded. Did it. That was fun. Play again. Husband, this outline is cute as heck. We should use it somewhere. I hear you. Well, I read you. This is cute. We should use some of the colors or some of the backgrounds or something to do something. I don't know. Groove and Let's move. Go to the disco so we can groove and move. Like the, the Barbie stuff is. Choose difficulty. Uh, like virtually or something. It's yeah. Really fun. Hard, hard, okay. hard, hard, cool. hard, 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 hard. Press the X button. Hard. To continue. Hard, 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 hard. Is that what it says? Me easy. Easy. Me hard. <laughs> Press the X button to continue. Trying. I don't know if Barbie's speaking to me too much anymore. At the disco, it's all about rhythm. Keep oh, the beat yeah. by hitting the buttons as they light up. Ready to dance? Let's go. D pad. You almost had it. Wait, Ready what? To dance? Let's go. You almost had it. Hold Ready on. Give me Let's give me a go. second to figure out what's going on. Oh, okay. Keep the beat. Whoops. I want to do over with this. And also some music would have been nice. Good try. Let Ready me try for another again. Round? I'm doing it this time. Get out of here. Ready to dance? Let's go. I've never been so ready. It's gonna be the same, huh? Keep trying. What? Ready to dance? Let's go. It's not Simon says. I gotta just do one at a time. Yep. All right. Ready to dance? Let's go. You got it. Ready to dance? Let's go. I'm ready to be Shakira's choreographer. You oh, you didn't give ready me dance? any time. Let's go.
I was ready. All right. Ready to dance? Let's go. Hope I get an epic replay. You got it. Ready to dance? Let's go. This was not the right game to play on a live stream. You live and you learn. And then you keep making the same mistakes. All the way until your children nice. are born. And then Ready you teach them dance? those mistakes. Okay. All right. We're gonna we're playing a different game. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I think you were more ready to dance than I was. Where do you want to visit? Where do I want to visit? Uh, the menu. Let's see here. Something good. Something weird. Gonna pick at random. Why not? There's a whole bunch of them. Chew. PlayStation. That was the lamest fucking game I've ever played. A little more engagement, a little sound, a little, come on. Brain dead. Hmm. Brain Dead 13. Two discs? I don't know. That's a commitment. Burning Road? Mm hmm. Hmm. Cat in the Hat? The Cat in the Hat! What's the worst that could happen? Doo doo, just like everything else. Are you prepared for kids? Or are you on the road to prepare for kids? I'm trying to be. It's hard when you gotta teach yourself everything because parents of yesteryear, all they knew how to do was whatever the hell they wanted. And then tell us to do the same thing. Continue without saving. No. Yeah. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. Then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not shiny, but we can have lots of good fun. That is funny. I dare you. Make me laugh. Hmm. 
kind of need a woman to <laughs> make babies with. No, not yet, but it's it's in the oven. Let's just say. <laughs> Hopefully Monsanto hasn't ruined my chance. But I won't know if there is a bun in the oven until they come. Hmm. Hello, fishy. No, I don't need advice. I'm a strong, independent woman. As anyone could see. Picked up doll. Ooh, is this like a side scroller? Or, um, point and click, I guess, is the technical term. Must be stuff I need. Trying to explore all the the game's stuff before, you know, it's more important, I guess, to, I guess, it's more important to spend the time on the kids. I'm sure eventually they could play these games and I could watch them, but I'm too fat to do anything right now, so why not play some fucking video games? Well, now with science, we could just put some sperm in a microwave and call it a day. Smooth walker. Cost a million dollars and then the government and the medical industry is in your baby's life forever. Holy shit. Never. But I have a feeling nobody really wants to talk about anything offensive uh, while there's video games being played. It's like, I just want to... I just want to forget I'm alive. Ooh, I need that cake, don't I? Use. I gotta put it together or something. Nobody wants to talk about nothing no more. Unless they're entertained while it's being done. Ooh. Take this doll. What? Fill this milk up. Alright. Somehow pouring that milk gave me two candles. Stick them in there. Take that. Ball rake. Cup. Books. Why is what? Yeah, those, what, are, what do they call those microwaves? Crispers or something. You put a... Make a GMO kid. I'm sure somebody's doing freaky ass experiments somewhere. Oh, yes. Making progress. Come out the door with your pimp. Walk. Going through this door. Picking up this ball. You told me I'd never amount to anything, mother. Look at me now. You want to get spoken to? No? Alright. Books everywhere. Go outside. Uh... 
Oh, why nobody wants to talk unless they're entertained? Uh, escape. Everybody wants to escape everything, and I don't think they realize that they don't give time to things that isn't escape. Except the things that, you know, I, I guess for the lack of a better term right now, because they're forced. I gotta go to church, or I gotta go to school, or I gotta go to work, or... And then it's just, I want to chill out, not I want to change this horrible fucking existence or talk about if it's even possible. I don't need to better myself or understand anything because I just got to do what I do, I guess, until I die. It sucks. <laughs> Cool. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't even know how to talk to people because nobody I think knows really maybe how to talk to anybody and we're all just kind of like winging it obviously because Every new opportunity is an opportunity to learn, and where is there a textbook to learn how to, you know, talk to people on the internet in this kind of manner? There isn't, and frankly, obviously, there shouldn't be one, because we could just roll with the punches, but I don't know if anybody does that. Give me advice. Oh, no, never mind. No! I'll do this myself. Damn, day a, uh, a strike a nerve or say something meaningful or super not meaningful or this stack of books. No, ooh, key. Not the key for this. Poke the kid. Get candy. Nope. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of things I feel like. I think I know. But there's a lot of things people don't consider. Everybody has an answer for everything because they read it in a book, but nobody's experiencing life for their feelings. Ugh, I wish... Husband, is there a way to make this bigger so I can read it better? Maybe I should just move. Move! My fat cow ass. Move me! Ugh. I'm just gonna sit over here. Excuse me, lots of noise. Let me, let me see if I can't help you. Here. Okay. Let's Wheel me over there! <laughs> Take that. I'll just sit over here between the two monitors. After I crunch. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's the noises my body makes when it moves. I'm made of jello. That's J E L L O L L C. And now I'm on this fucking. What if my wife turned into a shill for the corporations named Rocket? Brought to you by Bill Cosby. Stop raping me. <laughs> no. I feel like I can't say anything without having to, like, dive deeper in it, into it. Because it's not so much stop raping me, but maybe chicks, a lot of the times, they're like, Oh, I'm supposed to do this to get what I want, huh? I guess I'll do it, just like Scary Perry. Oh, I had to give a hand job so I wouldn't get in trouble. No, you didn't. Everybody has free will. So it's like, how do you... 
how do you even touch that subject without all the random chaos of not information? Everything everybody has is not information, I feel like. <clears throat> it's all hearsay and culture. And Wayne. <laughs> okay, now I can read. Heavy. Uh, don't see where I'm wrong. Who wants to do more work and change shit? It, <laughs> when it's put like that, definitely. Ah, uh, puzzle piece. Um, however, it's like maybe the terrible things that are a part of our everyday lives would not be part of our everyday lives if we worked towards making it not our everyday lives. You know, it kind of just gives the power to whoever gets to tell us what to do. And I think it would be a whole hell of a lot easier if we started saying no and understood why we said no and understood what it meant to be a human being. We give so much of our humanity away, I think, and we don't even know it. Even just in our language, using the words people come up with to, to envelop an idea that is misunderstood, like culture, religion, rights, freedom, anything that is a complicated concept has a word somebody will uh what's what's a word people are using now oh God, diversity or <laughs> some shit and then these people get paid to say all these crazy words and tell us what it means and everybody just goes okay all the while they're not noticing their life is getting fucking worse because they're not talking and thinking about the contrary of what everything is. Any idea has an opposing thought. And nobody considers that. Or they make it up. Oh, what are you, a lefty? What are you, a righty? Like, how stupid can things really get where you're just... <clears throat> Giving things names and then using those words to insult people and it's all it's all crazy. It's all crazy and it's all stupid. And it's like I have to work all this time to survive, to die, to live in this fucking world where nobody wants a say. Thus, I don't really get a say because nobody's fucking listening to me. They just want to fucking diddle themselves and and what else do people do D drink beer even the idea of of making babies and stuff and or before even making babies freaking having a relationship with someone it would take that kind of thinking that we don't get just from doing work all the time and then just being entertained the rest or escaping it means we have to escape from each other and then it's like what's the point of anything what 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 you think about that now you know how I feel. You didn't say you could handle my love, but I'm going with the song. Are you for real? <laughs> hmm. I can use all these things. There's a stepladder, so there's probably a stepladder use for something. Look at me thinking about things. Can't stop, won't stop, haven't stopped. Might stop.
do I need something? Where's that? Show me all the stuff I got, or does it not matter? Oop! I need a cup. Cup of cyanide. <clears throat> is it that we don't get prepared enough? Or is it that the people before us weren't prepared because the people before them weren't prepared or is it that things are constantly changing <laughs> you know there's a lot of, of things to consider and it, there comes a point where it's like is it preparedness at all I mean, it would be nice if the things that were wrong in the past were rectified but they're not. So there's literally nothing to learn from these idiots, but what not to do in the future. And then if we see it happening in the future or in our present, whatever, who is it up to, to, to think about what should be different? I feel like it might just fall to who's ever here at any given moment. It's me, you, anybody that... Ugh. Anybody you read the YouTube comments about and go, you know, wah, wah, wah. I'm disabled and I play Second Life and I have a nurse who protects me and I have Asperger's and I'm an older man who was sent into geriatric lunacy because I was beaten down by the world around me. <clears throat> we all got minds. And if we don't use them, somebody else does. Where could I be laddering to? Ooh, maybe I'll go out the window? No button came up. I think with all the information that we do get, we could prepare ourselves. I thought that's what people were doing. I mean, you know, just looking at the contradictions of the people before us and going, I don't want to do that. I didn't like when you did that to me as a kid, so I'm not going to do it to my kid or... And learning how to do that, it's not so easy just saying it. They use your mind to say, like when you go to work, eight hours a day, they have what could be yours. You could be using your mind to do whatever the hell you want, and it's not necessarily bad things or something. There are plenty of things in life to explore. So they have your mind at work. They have your mind after work because they're telling you what to think about things. They have your words there. It's it's a. For the lack of a better term, maybe is it's just it's an energy. It, it is an energy. Everything that we put out and get in is is a transference of, of energy. It may not be electrons or whatever, but I. A more evolved version because we got a bunch of electrons in our brains and now we can have independent thought <sighs> come on let me in this damn door fine you want to step up somewhere don't you come on take this ladder take my ladder mm hmm we got here for a reason 
from wherever we were. And the story is the past. It's the experiences and what resulted from what. And it's all traceable. It's all... It can all be put into a pattern that... Well... A pattern emerges from the information. If you were to put it in a computer program and put certain parameters and... There would just be a nice neat list of <laughs> every stupid thing people have done to go backwards. Our brains keep opening up because we keep being exposed to myriads of things, but we lose context and we become lost in our, we have become lost in our brains as opposed to exploring the world on the outside. It's like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at all these opinions. Look at this power that's over you. Look at all this history. Look at what it means. Everybody's got a different story to tell. There's not enough sorting it all out. And once we sort it, I think, at least for me, I can tell where I wasn't able to have control of my life. I think people deserve to be happy. Because there are people out there who are happy off the backs of people who are not happy. And this whole system of, you know, working for... The strongest doesn't have to be anymore. We have enough space in our brains. We were exposed to enough past to see a pattern and make a decision different from all of it and start moving ahead in the future in a controlled way using our mind that we don't have we don't allow ourselves to have the most access to it does suck uh, that time should be yours cuz and it's not just 8 hours even if you worked an, an exactly eight hour day what about driving to freaking work what about having to pump yourself up while you're brushing your teeth having to push that fucking alarm clock having to stop what you were doing the night before so that you could what i think should be the determining factor because it's like okay if we don't have this world that corporate fucking america has created for us will we just be all a bunch of fucking idiots no Obviously not, because we still need to eat, right? So think of how you have to wake up to a fucking alarm clock so that you can put boxes from here to there for some asshole selling cheap Chinese shit, some poisonous shit. <clears throat> and think about those eight hours being put into what do you need even to do those eight hours, right? You need water. You need food. You need... There are plenty of things that keep us restricted to a certain way of life because we need these things. Viewing from how little we have an effect on our food right now, it bothers me to the max that there are so many people touching it. You know, not just physically, but... Where did the seeds come from? What does the soil have in it? Was there any past bad things that happened in that soil? What is this fucking organic thing you call... You're allowed to call organic sometimes, and sometimes if you rub the right shoulders, it could kind of be organic. It used to not be organic, but too many generations were... It's all chaos. <clears throat> And we all need to eat. And I'm sure if we can survive, we can figure out a way to eat well and be more involved in our food. And then mold life to the very basic essentials instead of what somebody wants from us so that he can play his uh, uh, techno Game of Thrones fucking bullshit. It's a, maybe even those people, they don't have control over their minds. They're just, this is the best thing because I'll get the most stuff. 
But dudes have been playing that game forever. They'll shoot each other for land. There was a time and place for that, and people are still holding on to it. It's not time for that shit anymore. It's time for something completely fucking different. And it's possible. We just have to look back and go, huh, didn't like that, didn't like that. What's the best thing to do? <laughs> Cups are normally in kitchens. Drawer. Can't you just make things come out of your hat? Can you make this a little easier for me? Can I have this? No, it'll just lay on the ground and look like I can... Step ladder. Keys. We are so detached from our own selves because of how much we have to give to someone else. And for the wrong reasons. And that system, because we're forced into it and we're just told whatever. Oh, there we find. I tried that so many times. It turns us into babies. Getting still getting woken up for a freaking school. Being told to finish assignments instead of just letting survival dictate what we gotta do. I did it. Oh, yes. Sure. I'm not that enthused. I'm just trying. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with the game that I call... <laughs> I think we stop ourselves from changing shit by not talking about it. Even if it's not, it's, we don't have to start a fucking forum of this and that, but if we just look a little less for entertainment and a little more for wisdom, why not? What if wisdom is fucking power and everybody's just, oh, What if everybody's missing out on something pretty sweet? <laughs> oh. I can say with confidence that everybody's missing out on something really good. But I'm a this and I'm a I'm a that and you're just da 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 da. Something, something, something. Discussions do always end up in a fight and there's no need for it. There's this like one way direction that oh everybody's always taken. It's uh, come together right now. Words. I hate the Beatles. Uh, there is not an open channel when you talk to people as much as fucking I have there's this pattern that emerges where it's a constant pushing in your direct like you're just saying this because of this a lot of assumption making a lot of them deciding what you think. And if you take out all the dumbness of all of it, anybody can have a good discussion because opinion is different from fact. Nobody knows this. Nobody can, they, they will blur those fucking lines. So that they're, they're all just trying to justify whatever they want. 
Nobody wants to know anything because there's so much shit on the line. Oh, I gotta believe this because my job, or I gotta believe this because I already joined this coalition. <sighs> People speak up and they get demonized. Demonetized. I didn't have to save again. But when people are looking for the truth, there's a very set way to go about that. And if they're not doing it, they're not doing it. And it's almost like you could instantaneously, you could say. Everybody's just like really stupid. They don't know. And what they don't know, you know, fucking college, whatever. Oh, I read this book, whatever. They don't know enough about their mind to be able to use it. And the way we have good discussions is by using our fucking minds. Hey, kid. This elastic I have is not really that strong. I could use a better one. Especially if it's long. Hmm. There's a lot of brain exercises that I've had to do to at least try to talk as plebeian as I'm able to. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done to become someone who wants to find information and I just don't, I don't see it in anybody. They find, they latch onto something and I'm not even sure how they do that. Because it was captivating enough, it's almost like a magic trick. <laughs> so I, I think this. Whoops. No wondering why they believe things. I need my ribbons. I can't give them to you. What would I tie my hair with if I do? These nuts. The adults from before did not take the responsibility to do the things they could have done. But they said they did. And now people are like, oh, okay. I guess I'll just listen to you or I won't listen to you. But either way, I'm not going to do what's best for me. Ah, uh, drip. Oh, oh. That's not bad. Hopefully when it's reduced or cooked. That's a lot of freaking... Are you marinating chicken or something? No. Oh, we got that much meat? Or... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tasty. And how is anybody ever going to be in a good relationship, husband, if all they want to do is fucking argue to hide lies and shit? Tell me, husband, that there's anybody in the world like me. You're not even listening to this. Huh? That's fine. Huh? 
how are you gonna know you want to give me the world if you want to give me lies? Like, I don't even... It, it becomes... It separates the conversation, right? There's an outside conversation you have with me, and then an inside conversation you have with me. And that inside conversation is is that I'm okay. It has to be, right? Because the, the, the brain isn't just going to let shit fucking... I'm okay with you lying to me. It's okay. There is a justification. There's always an A to B. There's not just A, B, right? Because they they belong in the same alphabet trajectories. There's a beginning and an end of the alphabet. Or of numbers. Well, there's definitely a beginning. <laughs> um. So I just don't get... Just don't get people. I don't get you still. Well, I get people more because getting you fucking putting your lies in a corner or cornering your lies I guess. There would be times where like, you just make things up that I say. That's how far it goes and it's like, are you, are you kidding me? You know? Make up situations or just say anything that benefits you. And it's like, who do I get to be? I have to fight for my brain, and I don't even got an eight hour job that tells me to respect fucking different this and that. It was so weird seeing that happen on the outside, in the outside world beyond us, and then seeing the same fucking thing happen with us. Well, it's not just about making life stupid, it's about remembering that with everything that you do. Because it has to happen, because it's been going on too fucking long to not be like, okay, stick to it, stick to it. All right. Hmm. Anyway, talk, talk, talk. Don't even know if you're here anymore. Don't know if people care to let people know if they're here or what people's what people think about when they come into things probably confuses them too they're probably like I wish I had a book <laughs> do I get to talk to this person do I not but what happens when there's 10 million people here, just like PewDiePie, and it's like, where does my voice go? It's like, why get, why get attached? There's always, there's, a, there's been like 20 years of fucking YouTube or whatever now, where I'm sure plenty of people want to have a personal relationship with someone, and then they get a lot more people, they get people fanatical in there, which I don't understand even how that happens. A chair. Take this chair, kid. Hello, also shut up's brother. So sometimes YouTube is background noise, I would imagine. That's fine. The more the merrier for whatever reason. I guess even if people were here to 
say mean things, it's like, well, what are you gonna do? No news is, or no press is bad press. What does your brother think about things and stuff? Feel free to reply or not to reply, cause, you know, figured I'd put those options out there. Sometimes it's just like, damn, I don't, I don't want to. I would imagine, I don't know, I've never been in a live stream with people really that much. Put the chair down. What a poor tard. Good opportunity to teach, I guess, if we were to look on the bright side of things. Does he like Naruto and Roblox? What are the kids doing these days? Detached is okay. Gotta draw lines. Can't be kissing teenagers at fucking 45 years old or whatever. Doesn't matter if you swirl them around. You're still a creep. Learn how to love someone first before you kiss children. Or something. Can I put this chair? Oh, TikTok. How does. That's gotta be like mindless. Is he like super young? Like, uh, still in kind of school age? Or independent enough to. There's gotta be a like, what would what would I call it? Self, self police, kind of in a way. It's like I know this is bad for me. So I would imagine I don't know if that's too personal, but it like. What do your parents think about fucking TikTok? I mean, it's it's a known like bad thing. It's kind of like I don't know. I'm gonna have to teach my children different. I guess leaving them alone with to their own devices is fine if there's a structure built. What is this? Well, like, even with, like, the... the murders, on the Tic Tacs and the... I don't... It's like mind-numbing, right? Like, there's more to be learned from Minecraft. You can even learn about, like, electrodes or whatever. How electronics work. You can build a computer in there. You could make really neat things instead of seeing these people who are just like, Give me your attention. Give me your attention. I'm trying to make money. Soul-sucking. I had to I had to get rid of all the quick fix garbage. I even took well, almost almost a year off of the internet cuz I I had to do different things. I don't even think we played a couple rounds of Mass Effect, but that was a bonding exercise. There had to there has to everything that I 
do has to have a purpose. And it's strange that children are raised to do things without purpose. Like how, but how terrible do situations have to be? Like the state of fucking schools? Oh, thank you for giving me the thing that... Oh, okay, I needed something to pick it up. Tie your hair with something. A key? I would love it if people used their brain power to try to fix this bullshit with me. Has to start with talking though, and you're here, so I'm really thankful for that. I wonder, I've never, I have refused to ever watch anything that that Beast Child is in, whatever his name is. I'm going to call him Jake from now on. Are you happy to help? I had to pause and think about that for a, a moment. Thank you if you are happy to help. Is this mind numbing to you? I guess if I'm clapping my trap a bunch, it's not the most mind numbing. But I mean, look what I'm doing. Picked up. I had to do something. Hmm. I am currently practicing how to do two things at once. I have never had to talk and do things before. Uh, video games. Or anything, really. Gordon Ramsay has got me beat there. Talking and cooking. Tasting. Too bad I don't want any of your... Cheeto freaking your cheddar cheese car engine Cheetos. I've lost all respect for you. So I know uh, almost nothing about Jake. <laughs> I know he I know all YouTubers all, all the people who make money support me on Patreon yada yada I know they all know the tax code and I know everything that they do every fun thing they claim it on their taxes and that's why they do such wacky shit I'm pretty sure that's one of the motivations. They get to do stuff basically for free as long as they videotape it. Strange incentive. <clears throat> so Jake is, uh, I'm sure quite a proponent of that. I heard also that there was something to do with the the Roni relief fund, whatever stupid anagram they called it. That he uh, claimed that he had a bunch of losses so that he could get some of this money. 
It's like, fuck you, really? You donate mil- I- fine, you donate a bunch of money to places and you get the things and... But it's all fake! It's still all fake, and it's not a th system that should be used at all. Now he's got his own little cul-de-sac, so good for him. Everybody grabs, and then they run away. Leaving everybody else to pick up the pieces. I'll just take what I want now. Booty pie. No edge. Uh, he probably hasn't insulted anybody that he didn't have to pay off afterwards. In a long time. It's all- it's all about... money. It's... gross. Because the- the system where this money exists is cre- is- is so gross and so bad that it's creating a black hole. It's that kind of magnitude, that kind of energy, like, oh shit, the whole world's humanity, our imag our brains are collapsing in on themselves. <clears throat> it's a black hole of the fucking mind. And everybody's just playing. That's why everybody fucking uh, with their smiles and then they come out and everybody's getting arrested for this and that. Allegations of this and that and... Everybody's sick. Everybody's got a mental disorder. Nobody understands nothing. Get the fuck out of here. And his face? Ooh. I would have to punch it once and feel bad. For it to not haunt me in my fucking dreams. If he was a good person. But I would have to continually punch him in his current state. For his face not to... Send me my brain in a fit of rage. That fake smile. All the time. That wide mouth. That weasel shape. And now he's like, he's got the YouTube studio. There's like some shit when you're pressing to go live. Him and his big fucking mouth open. This is how you with something something engagement. Fuck you. Playing the bad game. You ever get demonetized? Did they ever take shadow fucking ban you? Playing the games. And a game that shouldn't be played. So eat pee pee, Jake. Or a bunch of 1984 bullshit. Mr. Beast. He's not a man. What What does he deserve a fucking title for? And what is he a beast in? Gaining the system? Fuck you. Does him and... and did What did he do? Okay, so if he came from PewDiePie, and PewDiePie had a... Uh, what is that thing called? Bridge. He had that. He dropped the end bomb on Negroshima. <clears throat> so if he's pushing boundaries like that, well, not anymore. He he got his dick and balls cut off. Trying to gain the system, but also not do the same thing. Trying to do some sort of philosophical in-between. That balancing, I'm sure, is wearing on the mind. He probably takes pills for autism or some shit now. <clears throat> he fell into a personality, that weird, screamy, annoying, look at me, I... Look at me. I can, I can stand you looking at me, look at me. <clears throat> so I wonder what old Jakey did for Felix? 
for Pootie Pie. It's hard to name people. Nothing to do with bro stuff, that's for sure. Standing up for each other. Didn't use his clout to get his scare Pootie Pie show uh, from not being canceled. It's hard to talk about things you never fucking think about until you're on the spot. How do I say words? That's a true life thing. That's why people on live streams are always so quiet or always so loud. Just vomiting the same shit every day. The same words. Politics. Let me configure these politics words in a different way today to convey the same thing. Anger, anger, anger. Grow up. Says the person playing Cat in the Hat, huh, dude? <sighs> Loud and stupid. Loud and fucking stupid. I'm pretty loud. I can't, with good conscience, <laughs> conscience call myself stupid like those people are stupid. I may not had a do words the best but that's because I'm learning how to do words a new way excuse me go read your books go let everybody give you fucking short term words to describe a complicated thing and use it over and over and over again and have it make sense each time get fucking real ah oh, chair I don't know. I guess anytime I see a female on the internet, there's always got to be an aesthetic to it. Dudes could just be fucking sloppy, whatever. I'll never get on a camera because I don't want to do that fancy aesthetic thing. I'm sure it's nice to be cute sometimes, but to hold that skin takes the flair out of it um so they come on correct quote unquote as the kids say and they create this fucking it's it oh, it always has to be kind of slutty because it has to be nice it has to be appealing you're appealing to someone just because you're thinking that it's 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 for me it's for the girls the dudes can watch it it doesn't matter what you fucking say you will be attracting attention <clears throat> some of them are fine i'm sure but they still wear makeup but now dudes do too so oh so most of the 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 real the edgy ones, the ones with the titties out and everything, they're fucking always talking about weird feelings, right? I'm pretty sure. They're doing like makeup and they're telling their opinions about like murder stuff and drama. Maybe I'm biased because it's like, what else is there to talk about? Only philosophy. There's only good discussions to have to go in a good direction at this point because our lives are so fucking shitty and everybody talking about the shittiness is not solving the shittiness. Oh yeah, there's the bathtub people, right? I don't, I don't think I've ever sat more than a minute to see what was going I couldn't because it was just chaos and they didn't need to talk because it was bloop 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 people talking in the chat they're reading things they don't have to use like their mind 
They probably have an opinion about the war in Ukraine, though. They probably tattoo it on themselves for 25 Twitch bucks. Ugh, come on, there's gotta be something I'm missing. Obviously. Good thing you're so smooth, cat. You saved me. There's a game that I think we all know doesn't need to be played. Because we're always bitching about it, but then there's always someone doing it or crossing the line and like, well, I gotta get paid. If we got a problem with fucking chicks in bathtubs, we should all stop watching chicks in bathtubs. I don't know if that'll ever happen though. Dudes are so single minded. There's a lot of people who are very. That's their thing to do after suffering for eight hours a day or whatever. Somehow they find joy in it. But, it's causing a bigger problem. A freaking stranger in the dark problem. A big red glowing eyes slowly coming up from a dark nothingness. A fucking rumble in an otherwise quiet night. Hey! Take care! Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully we will see you again. Shut up! What long thing do you want? Elastic. Hmm. You slowing down on me? Okay, fine. Time to pick a new game. Not meant to be played this long. A game with two hours of gameplay on its fifth hour. How's it coming, husband? <clears throat> That's what I have to say about that. It's okay. You're busy. I'm just burping and farting. What's new? Am I right? This stupid idiot over here? Do, go, do, go, do, go, do. Fucking sea monkeys. Why can't there be more people here so they could tell me what to do? What do you want to see? Take the pole. Take it right up your asshole. Barbie. More Barbie. Best <sighs> part. What happened? You, I just, I just caught that. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Oh. I heard, I heard you talking to a shut up. Yeah. Damn, we're like eight hours behind. Fuck you. Is that the, is that the, the thingy's fault? Uh, it's probably. Wow, that's like four minutes. 
Yeah. Maybe because there's so many places. Well, make me exclusive and also give me the N-word pass. <laughs> <laughs> My body don't come cheap. Well, it didn't until I was tricked. I'm the most expensive whore. Give you my soul and oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Should I play card games? Um, People like that shit, right? Yeah. People like slots, too. Ugh. I see. Do they like blonde slots? Now that I know you're listening, I wish I could talk shit to you, but I don't have it in me right now. I enacted something in my head. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna whisper in here and, and say something, be like, ooh, you know, I see you, or I know you're there, and I know you have to listen to me or something. It's something, something personal and whispery. But you could see how far away I am from <laughs> that decision. It's a casino. Oh. What? Blackjack. President. Speed. Baccarat. Are these different games? Shop. Player's room. Poker. Seven cards. Slud. Blackjack. Speed, Baccarat. That is a Japanese game. Number of players. Baccarat is played with. Ah, oh. I'll never know now. I guess I'll just lose all my money. Hey. Huh? There are, uh, uh, fo like that font that says, like, the stage, how it's like a some number, number, dash, number, number. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's kind of like gold and highlighty. Yeah. Uh, usually when you get rated, like, Super S, or when yeah. you go through things like that. Uh. And it's got nice music. It's like I'm playing uh, that thing in Final Fantasy. Uh. What the hell's going on? What? The card game, right? In Final Fantasy VIII?
Uh. Oh, and you you use the O button instead of the X button. I think. Sometimes. Maybe. I haven't seen options yet. How did... What are the fucking rules of this game? <laughs> nope, it was only that one option. I was wrong. Have a wager on the hand. Why can't I be a banker? Have a wager on the hand that gets closest to a total of nine. How did I win then? He had nine. The player wagers on the player hand. Hadn't. The bank hand. Or the ty There's a typo. The player hadn't. Player wi oh, oh, I'm wagering who will have uh, the right hand, or the best hand, or if it'll be a tie. <laughs> Object of Baccarat is a wager on the hand that gets close to the total of nine, the player wagers on the player's hand, the bank hand, the tie, the dealer. Mm. It kind of has blurry backgrounds like, uh, that game we're playing, Snoot. <laughs> Me. Shit, what? Dang it. That's losing. Wait, wait. Get out of here. I'm not doing this again. I am doing it. One more time. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, me so hungry. Yeah. Yeah. There's the place you could purchase items. Players run. Uh, you are dealt seven cards. These are like the worst games. They're just all like the 21 one, except different numbers. Get out of here, you suck game. We got any slutty games? I did it. I searched for Sony and it was successful. Give me give me a random letter. Wrong answer. 
Should I do M&M's? Machine Head. Those are... What? Sorry. Should I do uh, M&M's or Machine Head? Do Machine Head. Technological micro, microscopic machines with the capacity to reproduce at a truly astonishing rate. Their origin is unknown, but they are man-made. Mm. The machine head virus is it's not one signal it ear thingy, the evacuation of mono or whatever. Oh, uh. thirty-three. See. It was like Parasite Eve or something. And ooze creeping out of the house. My name is Kimberly Stride. Dr. Kimberly Stride. I've been engaged in research at MIT into the cause and effects of nanotechnological infestation. Infestation? My assistant, Orville McCardle, Orville the Geek and I found refuge in the isolation bunker deep beneath the Institute and set about discovering the ways and means necessary to destroy the machine head virus. We had located the source of the virus and built a vehicle, flippantly called the Vocal Blade, to transport a nuclear bomb into the blighted heart of the machine head. But we had a problem. To bring the Vorpal Blade to its full operational capacity required a sophisticated artificial intelligence. In short, a brain to guide it along the torturous and highly dangerous route to its goal. I had decided to upgrade the Institute's CPU with encoded sequences from my own brain patterns and then implant this into the Vorpal Blade's operating system. But Orville had ideas of his own. I couldn't move, and my head hurt like hell. The geek had found us a brain all right. Unfortunately, it was mine. I had no choice. The bomb was primed and the geek had his finger on the auto destroy. There was nothing else I could do but ride that baby into the heart of the geek. What the fuck is going on? Weird. This would be cool stuff to use too. Just like yourself. <laughs> in a hangar, 
The train's carrying fuel that I need for you to take to some scientist friends of mine. Just a pretext, you understand. So as you can get into their bunker and find out what they're at regarding the machine head. I want you to release the train and await further instructions. It's only an itty bitty little thing, but it'll make me real happy. Little things please little minds, Orville. Oh, your wit surpasses your beauty, Dr. Strive. And your stupidity surpasses your grossness, scumbag. What the? Really? I cannot, I'm having a hard time. I'm gonna take it easy and just use some buttons. Whoa. I can't use the direction or the, the, the joysticks, but I can use both the triggers and the buttons. Nope, no options. Going backwards. Whew. I'm wasting. Uh... <laughs> this is not, this was not made for me. Ooh. Smack, smack, done. What you picked was a shitty game. <laughs> Shit, I don't have any more fucking bo Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Oops. Shut up, you truck. What? One more time. One more time, husband. It's not that I couldn't hear you because you were too low. Your next letter if you're looking for that should be M. Uh oh. Okay. And figure we could because that was all the way at the top. Oh, so many NBA. Mm. Nah. Maybe that was a mistake. NFL. Uh. If I could kick people on the nuts for a little, little, little bit. Oh wow, there's so many. 
Rugrats. Nightmare creatures. Hmm. Holy shit. There's no Reptar's Revenge. That's fine. We're playing Rugrats. What are you, retarded? Not as retarded as you. Back in the day. I remember when I was a kid and I could just believe that cartoons was real life. Except for all the beatings that happened otherwise. Are you kidding me? This sounds fucking terrible. Am I gonna not get to play this game? Fucking robot voice. Oh, god damn it. I don't know if there's something in the options I could do. Should I just go for it? Make it an aesthetic. This is how I meant for it to sound. I think I'm getting a headache. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Gotta find out what the fuck is wrong with that. Oh. Ooh, beef. Nom, 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 nom. It's like Asian gravy. Hmm. Ooh, that's salty. Shit. Sh nope. Suh. Going back to Rugrats. Totally Angelica. Studio tour. The heck? Totally Angelica. What a bitch. This is very weird. Should I put it back? Yeah. Play Epsi. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is very bizarre. Why isn't there more meat? Oops.
Did I fuck up the now? Probably should have said stop instead. It just called her over. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Look at me. I exist. Cause I get in your way. Fuck you. Your life is meaningless. No statues will be erected for you. You exist as an annoyance in my mind. For however long I remember you. That's what your fucking life is, idiot. Fucking scumbag piece of shit. Surprise! Oh my god. And fucking watching that Australian chick, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm perusing because we watch those troll videos. So it's like, let's get a different perspective. That's what I'm thinking, right? Okay. There's a person who has something to say about the shit that happens there, but still wants to play it. And it's like it's a... The mean a, chick. Mm-hmm. She's not a troll. No. I thought she was. I thought her was a trolly thing. Well, here's the thing. There's... Those people... Don't just... Accept... Everyone. They accept who will accept them. So, they're not just making enemies with trolls. They're making enemies of other people who want to play the game. I've never... seen anybody actively do stuff like this, and it's not that she's... There's things that she doesn't like that's going on there as a whole, like all the tranny stuff and all the... The pedo stuff. So she's making mention of it. And she's trying to use her words to describe and get. Um. Get people to, to listen about it, I guess. It would be better if I. There, you can see the places where. Um, is what about him? You can see where she could be more descriptive, and where she, just like everybody else, I mean, everybody has this issue, where it's kind of taking a step back and kind of going like, never mind. Just kind of getting it to the, but you know what I mean, kind of stuff. <clears throat> and that always causes... <clears throat> Something has to replace it. You know, something instead of something has to replace the information. Okay. What should you do to replace the information? Attitude. Opinion. With everybody, they, everybody interjects attitude and opinion when, or I don't know. So there's people from every, everywhere coming in to say things from all different angles of 
whatever existence people are having on Second Life. Yeah. And there's this fucking motherfucker. Oh my god. Everything. Why? For me to... For me to see. That's why. But why? Would someone go on a video and get a paragraph, two paragraph, of personal experience? Kind of like, you know, I said there's that kind of uh, sociology thing, this German thing that they were trying there. Yeah. Uh, micro sociology where they get into know what makes a person tick in their life. It was like that, but in the mind. He... I'm disabled. I need someone to protect me. And this is a grown man saying I have this disorder, this disorder, and, and placing them in different ways that uh, I am in a wheelchair and I have COPD and then in the other paragraph talking about his fucking autism and he meets this fucking nurse there who protects him he didn't have anywhere to go on second life he decided to play this game and it was scary and he got to spend his first days in this real life, allegedly, whatever, nurse's house, in her second life house, and how he felt protected, and then oh he barely God. leaves that house, except to go shopping, and he, she escorts him there, so that nobody, he doesn't have to be, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Damn it. He doesn't... Mm, close, I guess. He doesn't... He can be blanketed from anything that will make him feel bad. <clears throat> it's a grown-up fucking baby. Well, I said some shit to him. It was like, gross, you know? What does that mean for everybody? He does, I was like, I was probably like, I don't remember. Like, you are doing damage to the fucking whole of humanity by being such a bitch. Women are not supposed to be the ones that have to Baby. The whole relationship is wrong. Nobody knows roles. So natural order, natural power shows itself. People are doing it. Nobody knows how to fucking describe it. Nobody... Everybody's forcing everybody to stop looking at them. To make these fucking connections. That... Men, the natural order, men are using their fucking power just like this motherfucker, just like the motherfuckers who are, they're all dudes who sexualize fucking babies. It's a power thing. It's natural, but it also, it's not natural. It's a chosen fucking direction. But the power thing is almost the most natural. The, oh, I, I want to go to a fucking... I want to say that I'm a chick. So that I can go into the women's prison and f f rape them. This whole thing is grubby men. Police! It's all grubby men with power who are doing whatever they can to get their fucking jolly. And he's doing the same fucking thing, just in a wheelchair. 
with COPD and autism. Please. Whose choice was it to get fucking COPD? Some kind who to get whatever I bet you it's not whatever the fuck it is. What COPD is is when you don't stop coughing. Why don't you stop coughing? Cause you don't stop fucking smoking. Everybody I've ever met with COPD, who, who I've been diagnosed, they smoke. They don't stop smoking. So you did it to yourself. Mayhaps. <clears throat> Why isn't he a wheelchair? What happened? That now, listen, at some point, even if your life was so shit, you could have retained some sort of, I want to pick myself back up eventually. And that's a story of someone who never wanted to fucking pick themselves back up. Because he's in the present saying, I love how she protects me. I can't believe that video didn't trigger him. Men have always wanted what they fucking wanted. You know? Yeah. The oil didn't make it crunchy. It just kind of like made it soupy. Maybe you struck gold the first time and you just need to figure it out instead of just doing the same thing, you know? What can I do? Who knows? Maybe you just gotta keep frying it. Maybe the heat it just isn't fucking hot enough. <laughs> Maybe you aren't letting the oil get hot enough. Hmm. No, no. Fucking thermometer. I'm, instead of fucking telling me all these things, whatever, I could name a million things that could go wrong. I'm giving you examples so that whatever the case may be, you can go off, go forth, and figure it out. And then come to me with the things if you want to figure it out with me. It's like, not everything I say is fucking accusatory. And... <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I uh, sounded that way. I'm the one who makes the stuff, so I screw it up and try to change things. Well, what would be your motivation? Because you do the same thing when we fight. Uh, so there's a direct connection to the reasons or excuses, depending on fucking perspective. Why are you- you're intimidated by me because you want protection just like that guy. But it's like I don't have it for you. I'm a woman. And that woman, fucking, she makes it a game, I'm sure, for her. It- that guy's like a pet. Or whatever. But they're both destroying the fucking world right now. That- that shit does not translate into real world shit. And mean the same thing. How toxic do you have to fucking be? They're like all your fucking mother or whatever, you know? I think Kay is the same way. Everybody, oh, she's so sweet, so just keep letting her do her dumbass thing. I think she's, uh... <laughs> she's not sentient enough to be that malicious but where she is responsible as a person who is just whatever she showed me she is m single mother husband died so one son he's gay and or he does it both ways or whatever she didn't instill certain values in him the value of love she, uh, the value of doing critical thinking. 
Oh, I read this in a fucking recipe. No, you didn't. You didn't fucking read that in a recipe. Nobody fucking takes raw fucking spaghetti, raw fucking dried spaghetti, put a meat, put meat over it, and pop it in the oven for fucking 10 minutes. Not fucking that doesn't make any logical sense. So she is doing something wrong. That is wrong. Whatever she thinks about fucking this and that is... But the basic is she's not thinking. She's not thinking at all. And everybody wants to get away with not fucking thinking and look what it's fucking doing. Nobody's looking what it's doing. I can't show you while it's happening. I can't show you afterwards what your actions do to us. But what about the rest of the world? And you have someone directly talking to you, doing the best she fucking can to describe the situation in a language that we both understand. In a way where you can check my work. So I'm not just, boo, 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 this is just the way it is. There is proof over and 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 over again. It doesn't stop. And your the contradictions you come up with are ab absurd. Where you have to change reality. What about everybody else? I ask you a question why you think the way you do and how it blah 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 and it's like well what about you? You know obviously because you didn't take the time you're too stupid to ask me what about me. I'm not gonna fucking use your language to try to fucking figure myself out for you. Cause it's gonna be fucking bad. Right? It's gonna be fucking stupid. Cause they're not doing the goddamn work. Uh, fucking why? Why don't we all just um, fuck it? Let's all watch YouTube videos about how everything fucking sucks, though. Gee, I hope another kid gets kidnapped today so there's a compelling fucking coffee and tea fucking shit about the internet. Oh, another thing that I can fucking put my heart into. What is that doing? Making people faker and faker. Is it having a good reaction or a bad reaction? If it's a nothing reaction, you're fucking retarded. Oh, what is it hurting anybody? What is it hurting anybody? Why don't you take a fucking look? Why don't you do the fucking work? I'm saying if you're not doing the fucking work, I'm not going to fucking prove it to you. But I'm going to know that you suck and everything. <laughs> so what do you do then? Just try to fight it any way you can, but you gotta know that they suck, right? To treat them like they suck, don't give them any- it's war! It's World War Three. Don't give them anything that they can use. Don't- don't bend to them at all. Use their words at that point, it's basically using their- words against them. This is a contradiction. Now that we know this, can you shut the fuck up and listen for a second? Hey, you notice how you're getting angry and I'm not? <sighs> None of it works. Because they're all just running away. Everybody's fucking running away. They want to make their fucking did -did 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 and they want to fucking skedaddle. Like little fucking cockroaches of the night. Getting their crumbs. What for? Well, I'm just waiting to die, right? Elon Musk, though, he'll save me. Get the fuck out of here. But don't trust the government, right? He's got fucking government contracts, but <laughs> trust him. Yeah, don't trust man. the government. His richest man in the world status is dependent upon those government contracts. Ain't the wealthiest nothing if SpaceX ain't even sending the government up in the fucking the atmosphere all the damn time. Space. Am I right, fellas? It ends right there. In orbit of... What a low view, though. It doesn't take that long to get to the upper atmosphere. 
these are things people need to, if they weren't doing the stupid shit they were doing, they would be thinking about the different ways you can prove stuff. Is drawing a picture of the upper atmosphere versus space versus really fucking low, watching the time and the distance and uh, the all the different things. You go, hey, we're only making it this far and you're calling it space? You know? Oh, in this book that was taught to everybody in school, it's on the fucking website that this is where we say space starts. It's not the upper atmosphere. The upper atmosphere with the little picture, this is the International Space Station. It's like it's right fucking there. And you keep using this word and you keep saying space and you keep going, well, they're in space right now. Look at the look at their view, how it's all like whatever. You don't have any proof. It's just they just keep fucking saying things for the sake of saying things. Oh, oh. But nobody cares about any of it, because they're just gonna die someday, so they're just being interested in their stupid shit. It doesn't matter if you're playing fucking watching Jake. That's the new name for fucking... <laughs> I don't know if you were listening to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah. Senor Jake. I forgot what I was saying now. It doesn't matter. That everybody's... Everybody's stupid. Everybody's doing everything for the wrong reason. Capitalism. They keep making capitalism worse, right? They they're making everybody's making that system fucking fail and they're just holding on to whatever fucking grains of paper they have left, grains of NFTs or some shit. <sighs> You want a financial crash? Fucking allow people to believe that all their shit can be destroyed. Imagine if there's some attack and every coin is just wiped. Oh, and, and, oh, and when it you can't do it when it comes back, you know, or whenever we it's just that it's shit's gone. done. Yeah. <sighs> And it's like, you don't need the banks to fuck in. They're bigger than that now. They're part of the system. <sighs> I guess they always were in a way. They were their own system. And then they buddied up with government system. In very fucking obtuse, obvious ways that not only there's books, but there's also like video and there's... Uh, many different points of view and there's substance to know these things even just with the bullshit they teach you in school watch the contradictions from seeing other people's point of view and their proof versus just the garbled shit they fucking give you in the education system something ha it's like it's People are against each other. There is no country anymore. It's every man for himself. Or third option. <laughs> but people are holding on to this fucking somebody gives a shit about me. And they're not sucking me dry. Oh look. But I'm not. I'm sucking everybody dry around me as well. Or I'm being sucked dry by everybody around me. Or holding on the people who try to be nice there are nice people out there you know and then they all fucking come and hug and blah 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 and now these little mushroom people have fucking sprouted that feel different things and they have a voice that's separate from this but youtube could be shut down twitter could be shut down right away i mean who would really fucking care because those people no there's no organization in it and that's how they like it it's a bunch of different mushrooms just not a structure of fucking power or value 
They're just part of a system, a little mouthpiece. Let's fucking drink tea and talk about fucking dead babies. Fucking why? What's the difference between the, those people and the people on the second line? The people that the shark is Journey? They fit in a different cog, so they may be a little bigger or a little smaller or get to say things that the other ones can't because they're an environment that protects that state of mind it's okay to advertise i need money and you all love me right <sighs> when's the last time i've been questioned when's the last time that well, we're waiting for everything to topple instead of questioning it before it gets too high kind of thing you know Is created magic. Things, fl things floating in <coughs> air, almost literally. If I could fly, I could fly, right, O'Brien? That's right, Winston. Whatever the party needs. I'm here on planet fucking Earth. I thought that this was gonna be a lot easier because there was a lot more people who were like, I'm so fucking tired of this. What do we do? And I don't think there's anybody. Because there... Looking for something in their own language at this point. And I can't... There's almost no place to hide being fake. You know? Yeah. Eventually... Everything's gonna get unraveled. There's only one way to do this. Because... When you're fake with someone, you're asking them to change the fucking world with you by just thinking. There's no room for fucking bullshit. There's no room for lies. There's no room for... Uh, niceties. Uh, for the sake of, you know, protection. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between being like, ha ha, you fucking chopped your dick off. And like, yeah, I don't agree with what you fucking do. I'm... I know this. But they're protected by everybody. So, you know, the whole fucking counterculture thing. <clears throat> the... the the culture and counterculture is all controlled by one system. <clears throat> there were people, I'm sure, at some point who fought for something. They had to give up a lot even though they had heathenistic ways, in my opinion. But where maybe could... it? What happened to conversation between men and women? Is it men who was like, oh, well, I'm a fucking pleb, and I'm meant to do these pleb fucking things, shipyard work, or fucking cash register or whatever 
there's no room for growth in the house between two people because of everything else out there did women fall into the same trap I guess that men fell into because they were manipulating men not giving them taking what they could and men and women and I don't uh <laughs> things change so rapidly and everybody thinks everybody had the mind to do the best thing and it's like, are you doing the best thing? What the fuck do you know about people of the past doing shit? Oh, I read this one thing. Or I read this dozen thing. Or I heard the ruminations of someone about it at some point. Ruminations is always the fuck. It's the middlemen of knowing the past. people are all fucking alone but as she laid in bed shaking you know who the fuck are you to to make these assumptions and these kids on fucking youtube are too fucking stupid not to do that they're not doing anything fucking responsibly just because they're not doing fucking heart surgery doesn't mean that they're not fucking destroying something when you're stupid you destroy something because you exist in time with things Simple fucking math. It's so simple. But what made you fucking not think about this? What makes anyone not think about this? Why are they writing the coattails of people that kind of think about this? I keep reading. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Maybe it's it's not looking back and seeing things that were done previously are fucking us up now. Fuck. I don't think anybody can agree on any like this was the best decade. Seventies supposed to be better than the sixties. Why aren't they like hey? But they. They read it all in a magazine. You know what I mean? So what happens now? Who are going to be the people that make the change? That They don't even understand the change because the change is told to them by fucking many different faces with many different programs and minds to alter things or not understand things or not get what they were capable of and what they weren't capable of. What motivated them. All of those things. I was thinking now I lost track that little ditty I was watching. About that chick who got naked on the uh -huh. uh, TV. So if there's all these... Because I know. Nobody's listening to me right now. What would make people listen to people then? There's a dilemma. That I face now. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like the higher-ups had much more respect at some point for the wit of women. When they joined the group, even as them or themselves doing things that mean stuff. Women philosophers or whatever. Mm hmm Hmm... And these people, I think, were... 
I maybe it's a culture thing that I even have to consider because classes in Amsterdam might be totally different than here because people just come in and out you know over there there's more history maybe and we were learning that they were fucking in England or whatever that just for having I don't, I don't like Pink Floyd on his shirt fucking Johnny Rotten he got arrested like for having something to say I feel like there's something powerful there to see the reaction of people having those things done to them for the smallest of fucking offensive which you know getting naked on TV is very fucking divisive but in the time period even of England the post fucking Pink Floyd brick in the wall kind of thing that that mindset yeah I feel like he's uh what, Zoidberg eating the flag you know uh-huh uh and then fucking <laughs> on Freedom Day Oy. fucking the law of man is so stupid it's time to reevaluate and it doesn't have to be vi it can't be violent <clears throat> for it to be there's only one way to go everything's been tried there's only there's only one thing we've done violence mm-hmm <sighs> but luckily this struggle is all just a matter of the fucking mind at this point. If everybody... A sci-fi thing, right? Yeah. Let's write a sci-fi story about it. Okay. Everything is magnets, right? Yep. Magnets, which means electricity, which means chemistry. So if there was a way to create a magnetism... Or a series of magnets that would make the thing who has the same configuration change within the person this configuration is in or thing this configuration is in so if you do it for something in the mind and there is something in the mind to just kind of wake you up to all the information to how to make you aware as aware as you can be. Hmm. The sci-fi story ends with it doesn't work. Because people have to want it. Then you have all this thing. They probably just, I don't know, kill themselves or something. Like you would have to change. Cha oh, a way to change their attitude. How would you write that with magnets? <laughs> How would you even write something to describe in a sci-fi way writing about? Uh, all of a sudden, people want the best thing. Put your head in this thing called the ether drive. Ojangalates all your functions. Ooh, okay, so it's kind of like a total recall, but in reverse, right? Yeah. It's a thing that you have to be willing to put yourself through. Like, when all else fails, come here for this. <sighs> That's one person at a time. That would take deep lore, because then if we had many storefronts, there would need to be like a corporation kind of thing if a good corporation took over and I was its head. 
But then there's no like really antagonists. It's just <laughs> there's no conflict. It would have a comic book, right? Because these things, people have free will, and that's where it has to fucking begin, right? So, put your head in that. You have free will. You have someone telling you before or after some simple set of things. You know, almost Morpheus like blue pill, red pill. Uh huh. So, depending on people's situations. Maybe people are the most open when they're the most desperate. Maybe there's something about the psyche we could put in there. Government conspiracy or something. When you find these really desperate people, you put them in the machine. It would have aware. They go out in the world, and start to congregate. They start to form a better fucking thing, and they start infecting other people. Well. See, if I'm already the big corporation, then the world wouldn't be a place where you would need to... Okay. Unless I got there deviously, and I have uh, pictures of... A, somehow I have power over all the government people, and I'm like, you keep doing what you're doing, because... No. If I had that kind... No, it wouldn't work. I'd have to start almost like the leftovers, but in reverse. Where I make a machine, and then I use it on people, and I'm watching, and I'm coming up with the things to prepare them for this new world, and they could, like, have varying degrees of emotions from, like, Lots of crying or something about a deep feeling thing, an understanding that they can, or maybe a situation where they can't speak because they don't have the words yet. All they have is the ability to see it in their mind. And it has to be through the talking. Like the guilty remnant, instead of not talking, but talking all the fucking time. Yeah. Lots of things to understand. And then it's like, how do you set someone out into the world after that? How, how do I survive? You know, there's like a, there'd have to be like a basement that they, <laughs> cause you can't just be introduced. Maybe they, develop different powers and maybe it could just be a positive thing as well well it's not so much like me i lack all the, i don't want to get involved with all that fucking shit because how could i have made this brain box if i did get involved with it so somebody who already has the skill of being a fucking bank teller for all these years or being a, a boxer or something or being a celebrity or being a fucking doctor Being a dead gas station clerk, too. Maybe, even. We'll see. I don't want to close any doors. <laughs> uh, they gain certain powers from their for that they learn now because they remember everything. And all that gunk that was just passing through life is now all open wide to them. All the bad and good that's happened to them all can and come up with a solution to something and it hits you so hard so it's not like radiation it's like all your knowledge at once all your remembrance at once if you went through life without having to have shit beat you down and forget things this is where you would be but since it didn't work out like that I think you only use 10% of your brain or some shit like that you could we start like, I. But a better version of that, because it's not like you're not using a percentage of your brain. Yeah. You just get all the awake. Uh, yeah. All the. Uh, all you get the most fucking woke. 
Some people blow their fucking heads off, and some people maybe are the manager of a bank or something, and they use their knowledge of all the bullshit ways things happen to within all the fucking lines, and I'm like, holy shit, because I can't stay within the lines of these motherfuckers, you know? But these people can. So they got all the information, and they do all the things to do the best thing for what turns out to be the best thing. We don't know yet, because we've seen some pretty dark things. <laughs> and I, me... Not knowing what to say to people, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either. <clears throat> I guess it is like... I am like the last ditch effort. For any individual. Is that how you saw me too? Oh, we were pretty old when we met. I was like, oh, this is my last chance. Most unique. Still think you're the most unique. Well, I am the most unique. You got lucky, though. You didn't fucking... <laughs> I don't know how I could have been unique. I couldn't find my self there. There was nothing, I guess, to find, but whatever fucking rope I was holding on to. <sighs> I guess that would make me unique. Oh, he gives a shit. You're like all the Star Wars super good people, all of them in one. All right, Somehow now. all the good Jedis. Here's the thing. I'm only one person. Maybe all these people are the Jedis that make it out of this this brain experiment. There's sometimes I have to bury people. I can't let anybody know, you know, what's going on, but this is the most, I think, at least, you come to find out I'm right, this is the most important thing right now, because nobody, everything is destroyed. You know? Everybody's a fucking zombie and the one those they live people who fucking put on the glasses I don't think anybody put on the glasses but like one person at a time until finally the second guy made can finally convince I think uh, Tommy Two-Tone uh, Patty Too Fatty Rowdy Rowdy Ra yeah Rowdy 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 Piper he uh he uh yeah. He got the the black guy to put the fucking yeah. the the predator moment. Yeah. They were like hunting each other the entire time, right? Yeah, like. <laughs> and then he was like, "Holy shit!" But they had to have the bro moments of fighting. A huge fight, a fight that went on for. It was like the whole movie, wasn't it? Almost. <sighs> well. And it was like he got shot and shit. <laughs> but it's that important. Hit I would with say. Fucking trash cans and bottles and bricks and shit. I wonder if uh, Red Redder ever did. They live. I wonder if they would even understand. Would they get the depths? Because them too. I'm sure they, they could put their beers on that fucking tax thing, you know? The game just kind of spoils it a little bit. It's like, look at all the stuff, you know, you get to do because you want to play a game that's hurting everything. And it's like, you don't, you wouldn't sacrifice it to do the right thing. That's why it starts with the proles. Because Winston knows he can't do the right thing because there's there's no hope for him you know and there's nobody he doesn't think there's anybody else out there what would they do just write in their diary fucking trying to stay away from the telescreen how would they ever find each other 
fucking scary shit. But that's what it's like. Right now, it's just everybody shutting people down. People police each other. Fucking, I'm telling on YouTube. I'm telling you on YouTube. I'm reporting you to Linden Labs. <laughs> That chick was talking about how somebody, like, was harassing her about talking about fucking tranny dudes. It was like, I will talk directly to this person, and this person was also, like, it was a fat guy with a beard and a wig, transvesto, transsexual, whatever. It's like, holy shit. They just... You really see, like, the <clears throat> side of men with that shit. Fucking nails and a beard. It's like, who am I? What feels comfortable? It doesn't fucking matter because those nails aren't comfortable for one. I'm female and I wouldn't fucking do that shit. I tried over and over and over again. It was just fucking no. There's no point. If, if sexuality is fucking everything that's just physical, then... And maybe if people weren't eating so much fucking soy, hypothetically, they wouldn't be so effeminate and sad that they can't appreciate themselves. People got fucked up. But nobody's doing nothing about it. Nobody's looking at it because there's just, just let me die. Let me die in peace. 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 This is me. What do you think if I was able to just say that to everybody else, uh, everybody at once? Who would it be? So what? With Pootie Pie. So what? Let me die in peace. That's all. Why are you having babies then? Just let me die in peace. What about you, French toast? his friend over there. Oh, yeah. Just let me die in peace. Fucking anybody. Nobody feels they need to fucking take a look at what the fuck they're doing. You don't have to question it. They're protected. What's the likelihood you get to ask Bill Gates a fucking question? Unlikely. You gotta be sanctioned for that shit. It's like... So gross. Let's not talk about like what it means for marriage that allegedly these two people, these creatures are married for fucking all these years and then the Epstein shit happens and Melinda <laughs> fucking I can't believe it looks so like that one's a Bill Gates is a chick and Melinda is a dude. The the different fucking structures of their face and body is crazy. Uh What does it mean for marriage that people that oh look we did our marriage stuff for so not now you talked about that Talk about the reverse. Let's just leave that alone, though, right? Let's keep fucking donating and thinking that everything you're doing is okay. Not doing something about the fact that they're still fucking spewing their nonsense. Oh, you were wrong about marriage? What else are you fucking wrong about? My butt dimple. No, it's okay now. You wouldn't admit that. Too big to fail means that it, once the illusion is away from each other or everybody's eyes, it can all fucking fall apart. Because it's like, I'm not doing this anymore. Every single person. Anybody that fucking holds those people 
you know, for a paycheck or whatever. They see everybody else going, uh, you know, time to fucking pick a side. <laughs> fucking cops? The Why? Why do they choose the side that they choose? Oh, because it's a paycheck? Where's your fucking humanity? Where's your morality? Where's your ability to decide what's fucking right? <clears throat> Your ability to understand. How much can you question yourself if you're there getting to make fucking decisions as some 23-year-old? Oh, just follow the rules. Doesn't make any sense. That's also stupid. So if these people question themselves like that 23-year-old can, it's like, what are we what are we doing? I'm living to die. Shut up and let me die. So, is, can there be a contradiction to that? That everybody lives in Shut Up and Let Me Die? That is the motto of everybody right now? Yeah. How can anybody fucking argue that? Live in the moment. Oh, because you're gonna die someday? So live now, die later. <laughs> Shut up, don't tell me to not do what I'm doing. Shut up and let me die. So that's it? Yeah, well, I gotta start acting like that. We gotta get everybody to start seeing it. People gotta be touched by it. Crying, screaming from their top, from the top of their lungs. What have I done? <laughs> How do I get out of this mess? This is not like there isn't a way. I mean, all this, uh, just a bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah, shut up and let me die. Well, if it's shut up and let me die, what's the opposite of that? And how can somebody who's also shut up and let me die? Because I'm talking, and what am I talking until I die? Fuck no. What's the weight and value of emotions? Is it what other people say? And let's not maybe come up with one currency. What if that is easy because it exists outside of us? You just gotta see it too. No retard. I can talk and talk and talk and talk. Yeah. There's something about the way you're talking. The way you hurt. Because you're the most free. Or you're thinking there's shit that doesn't hold you back and you hurt for it. Your freedom comes with price. That guy's probably a fucking father. Can you imagine? Same, I'll do what I want. Consequences be damned. I'm sure. All I know kids. is that the law tells me I can go 55. Fuck you, idiot. Don't forget to look out, look twice, save my life. Yeah, right? Fuck you. You want to know what a truck feels like? <sighs> I 
Maybe if your shit wasn't so fucking loud, you could hear the truck. Fuck you. I'm- Ah, oh, ooh. I hate it. That's- the, Every motorcycle- Why do you think motorcycle clubs are so popular in Second Life? It's just people who can't have motorcycles, but... Are they so dissimilar? Having what they want, getting to do what they want in the places that they get to do it. Yeah. Under the guise of motorcycling. Uh, they do the... Family bullshit, I'm sure, when... They can't do CD operations. They're just a front. It's like, hey, let's make motorcycles cheap and thrilly so men go, ooh. <clears throat> to hide that motorcycle clubs used to be something a lot more dangerous and that the dangerous ones that have survived now have more protection than they ever have. They're part of the bigger Game of Thrones. Violence becomes politics, always. That's how it's always been. So why not just not do politics, now that these people are all fucking... I mean, look at Bill Gates, right? Now that these all are not strong men, Throw them away. Why are strong men holding weak, bad men up? They don't have a language because they don't want to lose the things that... There's er something everybody can do. It starts with the self. Totally Angelica. One thing I think a person can do is get his wife some dessert. Something that is tickling you that could be made. We have ice cream, but get some cookies or something. cookies the flat ones that get all they're not enjoyable to me anymore ever since I had that perfect cookie that's what I want again think what kind of dessert I could even have. My mind went to like pastry kind of things too quickly, you know, like a phyllo dough kind of thing. <sighs> it's always what's most out of reach that... <laughs> Something that hits multiple things. I don't like flat desserts. You know, there's like a, a cold and a sweet and crunchy with like a, a cone. Yeah. I want something like like a. I bought hers from sitting here. Crunchy. Oh, rainbow, rainbow cookies. 
But that's... What if you didn't make them rainbows? Because it's only food coloring, right? Yeah, uh... I don't think we got the Mars again. Uh... Um, forgot but, that that's a fucking. <laughs> but we do have lots of common extracts. Not that it's the Mars of Pan stuff helps. The with consistency. The are wait you are? Did you just say the Mars of Pan helps with the flavor? Uh, stop. It helps with both. Here's that sugary gooeyness. Uh, yeah. Plus, like, the crunch when you put the chocolate on it. And then the, the sourness of the... Yeah. People don't pre the people don't see this shit going away. They're not fighting for nothing. How do you make good stuff like that if good stuff like that isn't fucking available? It's too much. It's too much stress to have... A good, well operating thing that has the best stuff when there's shit breathing down your neck. I would say. At least that's why I wouldn't open anything. I don't know about anybody else. I know that I was always discouraged to do anything, to do with anything in this fucking world, because all of it I didn't want to. There's certain things I didn't agree with. Ever. I only went to community college because somebody else filled out my form. I was like, if it, she was like, why don't you go to college? Why don't you go to college? I was like, if you sign me up, I probably paid for it or whatever. I was like, if you sign me up, I'm not, I don't want to touch any of that shit. Papers and papers and papers and papers. The chick that I thought I saw on the side of the road, uh -huh. that's why I wanted, because, you know, she was there. She did those things, and it would be good to get back in touch with her. Especially since we had a weird problem with a boy. I was very confused at the time. I didn't know I had gotten a little sexy. Doing my own, like, weird bohemian thing. Mm. And her boyfriend made a move on me. I kind of just sat there in place. I was like, well, I mean, it's not like I'm scared, you know? It's not like, mm. oh, this is... And I know they were having problems, and I probably crossed a little bit too much of a line by maybe going like this, you know, with my shoulders or something. Uh... But also, I thought that it was mostly, like, a deeper friendship thing, you know? Like, he, he, we understand each other, and they're something. That's, that means when we hang out, there can be a closeness, because, you know, people have their clicks or whatever. And with that, I was like, uh-oh. And I didn't mean to, I just wanted to follow the best thing. Yeah. And I said something that led them to break up. But little did I know then that men will say whatever it is to be right. No introspection. That it was... But then I doubled down when he got another girlfriend. And I hated her. I told you about that. What's the matter? Fucking the Odyssey is real or not? What do you mean? What do you? What do I mean? It matters. <sighs> That's how you climb 
stupid petty power ladders. I hated school. I tried to not hate that one. I was like, I will go with a fresh, brand new fucking mind. I'm not who I was in fucking high school. You know? Cause, and also, it wasn't straight out of high school that I went. You know, it was too late. <laughs> and noticing, like, the difference, because a lot of the people there were kids straight out of, so it's like, well, now, who am I too fucking old to obviously relate to you on certain levels? And then they would try to re talk to me like we were of the same... It's not like that. There are differences, and there's like a pull of... Like, oh, yeah, you're so funny, blah, 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 blah. It's either I lead or I don't, I guess, is the is the strongest feeling that I got. I don't want to be one of someone. If I'm older than them, I have more experience, and if I see stupid shit, I should be the leader. It never happened. I wasn't prepared. Wasn't prepared in high school either. That shit just happened. Such a trendsetter. Oh. oh shit, my pants the entire time. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing in school. Everything was just one. Most of my memories is like one blur after another. Anyway, I should play Totally Angelica. Mm. Totally. I'm wondering if Shut Up was the one that wrote that one comment. It was like, better than Jocko. I gotta look. Because I asked a question and it looked like there was a reply, but there was nothing there. You know, I don't know what the fuck YouTube's deal is. Except that they're shitty on purpose. Proving all you all they could do is is ban, you know, or never address the question. Talking my language. Do me a favor, one second. Let's get real. I'm gonna accuse you of something, <laughs> and you do the opposite. Prove me wrong. You didn't answer my question. This is how I expect my question to be answered. Or this is how you didn't answer my question. This is specifically what I asked. Uh, in so many words, you know me. Yeah. I catch eventually. Give me the time to catch you. It'll be like what Chris I, Hansen. Masterson? It'll be like Chris Hansen, but having like important people or rich people. I have like the president or whatever. Like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you were doing right here? <laughs> I should probably stop. What the fuck am I doing, right? Now that I, I have play a new nothing. Cynthia Dream Mall fashion show playset, you can be as beautiful and great as have an ice cream cone? Yeah. Open! Okay. Are you think about open, open, a longer open. term dessert at some point? Yeah. Do we have yogurt? Open, open, yeah. Open, open. Do we? Open, 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 open. We should put milk in the yeah. other thing and try to make it do more. Hey, it's Kids. Yogurt. Those mailmen need to be more careful. Uh, now how am I gonna play more fashion show queen? I oh, have no. like a oh, tasty star. You don't mind if I'm the star instead of you. A you little bit of a... honey, a little bit of granola. That's what I thought. Now I just need some Some things we got run the wall and flat be my abhorring pupper. Hey baby, get over here and I'll 
bar me! Now! I'm going to be the mall fashion show queen! If it's... Ooh, is it vanilla flavored or regular? Okay, I might not need the honey then. Welcome to Make Believe Mall, the only mall run by babies. Today, we uh -huh. are proud to present the Mall Fashion Show. Remember, personally. customers who aren't potty trained no. always shop Just the free. yogurt. I'm gonna get lots of outfits, so I'll be sure okay. to win that fashion show and be queen. It's like Mommy always says, dress for excess. Like a circular side screen. You've got to help get the ball of yarn to Fluffy. Press the X button to activate a spring. Try to avoid things in the way and don't go backwards. If you get the ball to Fluffy before the clock runs out, you win. Oh, come on. What am I doing here? <coughs> okay. Boy, this hallway's all messed up. Uncle Stu must have built it. Is it vanilla honey flavor? No. Hmm. Alright, whatever you think can make it taste the best. I think I'm gonna make two. Fluffy, come get your ball! Two things? Fluffy! What's the other yogurt thing? I'll make it enough as I go. Okay. Something with crunchy things in it? Fuck it, do whatever you gotta do. I'm coming, Fluffy! <sighs> Later. Took me a second to get used to what the hell's going on. I'm controlling those other thingies. Uh. No, they weren't. I don't think so. I haven't seen coins before. I think maybe it was just like jumpy things. Oh. Did I do it? Oh my goodness, it's still fucking going. Right? No little kid can do this. This is fucking terrible. Well, you think because they would hate this? Yeah. You win! <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks for playing at the Make Believe Mall. 
the Cynthia's starting outfit. When she changes oh. clothes, use the arrow buttons to put her back in her original outfit. Use the up and down arrows what? to select the item you want to change. Use the left and right arrows to look at all the clothes. Press X when you're done. Okie dokie. Oh, memory game. <sighs> yeah. Turns out I can't remember shit. Children wearing lipstick. I'm playing reverse tennis. I'm just catching things. Not losing many cookies on my watch. You're a friend to cookies everywhere. Hello and welcome to the Mo Fashion Show. I'm Tommy, your... Who cares? This is my imagination and you're just a pigment of it. So get to the important stuff. How do I win? By earning enough points from our celebrity judges. I don't get to keep the lipstick on.
Well... Not... No. Husband, I don't know what the hell's going on. They're not giving me any points. All right, we're trying a new game. One more. Huh? It's defective. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. Let's see. Do you have any recommendations, husband? Search. Oh. Whoops. Play. Or a letter or something. Go to the supers. Super? Barbie Super Sports. <laughs> Marvel Superheroes. SpongeBob. Superstar Dance Club. Supercross. I think this was a bad idea. Okay. Uh SpongeBob. Sp All right, SpongeBob it is. I don't think I've ever played a SpongeBob game before. I think I might have been too old. 2001. No. It probably sucked ass. Climax. I don't think they could get the rights to the song or something. <laughs> this is for Dead SpongeBob. Too soon? Yeah. 
That was a very strange entrance music. What's going on? Ooh, a little side scroller like Mario Brothers would be cool. Ah, here we are at Bikini Bottom, and today we will be following my favorite creature, Sp Today, he Look. is in search of the best birthday present ever for his best friend, Patrick. The question is, how far will he go for his best friend? I th they got the... Gary, I just had a great idea about what to get Patrick for his birthday. The French guy. But they have the French character talking a whole bunch, so it's weird. Oh no, not you again. Just keep the noise down. What do you want? What do you want? It's my best friend Patrick's birthday, and a signed photo of his favorite superheroes would be the best thing ever. Well, we are a bit busy right now. No rest for superheroes. <laughs> well, I know that Mermaid Man might consider signing one for a superhero snack. Uh, yeah. Uh, see that butter? Uh, tomatoes. Jelly. Like a calculator. Do I remember that? You can count Shit. on it. Sea cucumbers, bananas, and peppers. Squidward, ready for another great day together, friend? Today's Sunday, SpongeBob. Forget the Krusty Krab. Hey, moron, why don't you take your net and go waste somebody else's time? No, hey, you. I can use this net to catch jellyfish and throw them at those annoying. Oh, shoot. Ouch. Throw them at the annoying creatures. Gotcha. This is kind of an interesting game. It is like a platformer. Is this the first one or the one you...
What is that on top? Coconut sugar and a little bit of shake chocolate. Mmm. Pecans. Pretty good. Yeah, you would. Mm, 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 mm. Are you gonna hurt me? Ah! No! Fine. I'm going back for you, motherfucker. the jar of sea nut butter. I feel like this game is saying perverted words to me. I feel like this game is saying perverted words to me. Instead of peanut butter, saying sea nut butter. That's kind of like, ugh. SpongeBob, you silly old sponge, try using your helmet. Mm -hmm. 
Um. What the hell is going on? It's a reverse freaking water level. Ugh. Making me panic. Like Sonic. Because SpongeBob goes to Sandy's. He has to wear like a helmet or whatever because she lives without water. These controls are nothing to fucking brag about. Uh. This game kind of sucks. Ah! Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's more annoying than anything. I don't know... If it's me... I won't necessarily blame the game, but... I think that's what it's gonna end up being. <laughs> Can't even take a minute with my yogurt. Fish hooked bark. Is it kelp or is it lettuce?
Dang it. You fucker. Husband. You still working on that thingy? Huh. Ugh. My brain doesn't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Are you sure about that? I can unbind my chains of servitude. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Oh, I gotta press stop on all of them, right?